hello guys welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we're going to make this very simple yet elegant skirt look at that color it's a very beautiful color i hope you're going to enjoy making this skirt if you're not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe and let's get to the tutorial i'm going to be using a medium weight yarn a three millimeter crochet hook i'll need two stitch markers a pair of scissors a measuring tape and you're going to need a dani needle for weaving in the ends we begin with the waistband of the skirt so begin with a slip knot and then make a chain of 12 then chain one more to get to 13 go back into the 12 stitch with a single crochet into the next stitch place a single crochet and then place one single crochet into every stitch for a total of 12 single crochets at the end of row one <laughs> to begin row two chain one and turn your work and as from row two until we have our waistband we're going to be working the back loops only so normally we'll go into this loop but we're going to go into the loop that is at the back of the stitch right here so we're going to be working the back loops only because we want a waistband that is stretchy and to achieve that you need to work in the back loops only so work all the back loops to the end of row two for a total of 12 single crochets sorry about that i'm at the end of row two so i'm going to chain one and turn to begin row three again in row three we work the back loops again and all the rows in the waistband will be worked in the back loops you're going to work as many rows as possible in order to hit your waist measurement so what i do is i make the waistband without stretching so i take my waist minus 15 inches sorry i take the waist minus 10 inches so like for example in my case i'm working a waistband of 30 inches so i'm going to work that 30 minus 10 and that should be 20 inches when not stretched so if you're working a waist of say 34 you're going to take 34 minus 10 to get 24 and so you're going to work a band of 24 inches when not stretched do that and i'll meet you once you have your waistband so that we can proceed to the main parts of the skirt just keep going with one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch at the end of every row chain one and turn and always begin in the first stitch with the back loop single crochet i did a total of 90 rows to get to my 20 inches when not stretched so you will probably need more if your waist is bigger or less if your waist is smaller here is my waistband of 90 rows and i'm going to measure this remember i said we're measuring without stretching because it's going to stretch and fit the required measurement so I'll mention that I was going to work 20 inches and as you can see uh, my band is about 20.5 which is okay. If I add 10 to 20.5 20, 20 I'm getting to 30.5 and that is completely okay. If I were to fold this into two and measure then it would go up to, it's going up to 10. 10 times 2 is 20. 20 plus the 10 will be 30 inches. And if I were to stretch this out, it's going up to 32. To join the two ends together, chain one and turn. Then get the other end of the bands. Align them. And so we're going to go into the back loop of this first end. And then into the other loop on the other side. And join them together with a single crochet. Into the next the second stitch and the second stitch on the other side make sure that your stitches are well aligned then the third stitch of this side and that stitch of the other side and then keep going 
each stitch should be aligned with the corresponding stitch on the other side or on the other end of the band because we want to join it to form a round. And you're going to work like this for a total of the 12 stitches that we have on the waistband. I just joined the last stitch and this is what we have so now we're going to chain one and turn our band to the right side like that so we have the waistband we can start working the main part of the skirt we're going to be working the main part of the skirt with double crochets and now because i just chained one i'm going to chain two more for a total of three and that acts as our first double crochet. Then we're going to work on the rows. We're going to place one double crochet into every single crochet row. So because I had 90 rows at the end of this round, I should have a total of 90 double crochets. I'm in the last stitch and I'm going to place my last double crochet into that last row. Then to connect the first row, we're going to slip stitch on top of the chain three stitch right there. And we're done with the first row. Then you're going to chain three and then turn. We're going to be turning at the end of every row. And at this point, you need to mark the, the hips or the middle of the stitches. So what I do is... I hold my work like this you can count the stitches if you want so you're going to count 45 on this side and 45 on the other side or whatever number you had then instead of counting I hold my work like this then bring this point together with this right there it gives me the exact thing that I want to achieve and then I'm going to mark these ends these ends at that point And these other points on these other ends we are marking the points that we're going to work increases because we're going to need to increase in order to hit the hip measurement i'm working a hip measurement of 40 my waist is 30 so i'll need to increase for about 10 inches in order to get to 40 inches on the hips and these points that i've marked that is where the increases are going to be happening we're going to start an increase in row two at the point where the stitch marker is so I have my first stitch, which is a chain three, which acts as the first double crochet. So we're not going to go into this stitch. We go straight to the next stitch with a double crochet and work one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the stitch marker. I'm at the stitch marker, so I'm going to pull it out. And into that stitch marker, I'm going to place three double crochets into that same stitch. And that's our first increase. Then after placing the three double crochets, you're going to mark the middle stitch, the second stitch. Mark it and then continue working one double crochet till you get to the other stitch marker. I'm in the next stitch marker so again i'm going to pull it out and place three double crochets into that stitch get back my stitch marker and mark the second stitch or the middle stitch of the increase then we're going to continue with one double crochet until we get to the end of row two
at the end of row two we're going to slip stitch on top of the chain three stitch of the first stitch right there and you're done with row two so this is what we have now our skirt will start stretching out at the hip side then for row three we're not going to increase at any point so every stitch gets just one double crochet so chain three turn your work and work one double crochet into every stitch remember continue marking the stitch that has the stitch marker do not remove your stitch markers leave them there so you're going to pull it out put a double crochet and then put it back so just work a row of none increase in row three and i'll meet you at the end of row three so that we can begin row four I'm done with row three and I'm just going to slip stitch to complete that row then chain three and turn to begin row four row four is going to be an increase row sorry so just turn my work go into the second stitch with a double crochet and work one double crochet till you get to the stitch marker when you get to the stitch marker you're going to place three double crochets into that stitch marker and then mark the middle stitch continue to the length stitch marker and do the same and therefore we're going to be increasing in the even rows and the odd rows will be rows of just one double crochet so we're going to increase in row two row four row six row eight and you're going to increase until you hit your hip measurement when you're measuring the hips make sure that you're stretching out your skirt i'll be showing you how to do that so let me do the row four and then i'll tell you how many more rows i'll have worked in order to hit my hip measurement I pull out the the stitch marker and place three double crochets into that stitch then get back the stitch marker and mark the second stitch on the increase continue to the next stitch marker with a double crochet one double crochet into every stitch till you get to the stitch marker Pull out the next stitch marker and place three double crochets into that stitch get back the stitch marker and place into the second stitch of the increase then continue working one double crochet to the end of row four remember row five you're not increasing then you'll increase in row six no increase in row seven increase in row eight no increase in row 9 increase in row 10 do not increase too much such that you extend the hip measurement i'll come back and show you how many rows of increase i did before we can continue so keep going and i'll meet you there at this point i'm in row 12 and i've just done the increase in row 12 so i'm going to measure to see whether i've hit my hip measurements and as you can see right there it's folded into two and it goes up to 16 16 multiplied by 2 is 32 when i give it a bit of a stretch it should go up to 40 because i want a hip measurement of 40 so give it a stretch don't stretch it out too much a little bit of a stretch so after stretching i'm going to get to 19 point something almost 20 and so i'll work one more increase in row 14 and then after that all the other rows from row 15 till i get the full length of my skirt i'll only be working one double crochet into every stitch i'm done with the row 13 so i'm slip stitching onto the chain three stitch chain three turn now we're working the last increase in row 14 so a double crochet into the second stitch a double crochet into every stitch till we get to the stitch marker at the stitch marker i'm going to increase and then i'll pull out the stitch marker because i'll not be needing it anymore i 
at the stitch marker i'll pull it out and i'm not going to use it anymore so i'll set it aside so three double crochets into that stitch then one double crochet till you get to the next stitch marker one double crochet into every stitch so you're going to work one stitch till you get to this point when you get to this point put three double crochets and pull out the stitch marker that is if you hit your hip measurements into that stitch we put in three double crochets then one double crochet into every stitch till we get to the end of row 14 at the end of row 14 slip stitch on top of the chain 3 stitch of the first stitch chain 3 and turn to begin row 15 so at this point now i'm not increasing anymore let me check the measurements so that's 17 and when stretched it goes up to 20 inches which is 20 times 2 that's 40 and i've hit my hip measurement so row 15 row 16 until you get the full length of the skirt i'm just going to work one double crochet into every stitch now i want my skirt to be 17 inches long at this point when you're measuring the height you do not stretch so at this point i'm at nine inches and i want to work till i get to 17 so i'm going to work till 14 and then from 14 inches to 17 inches i'll do an edging on the skirt so let's meet once i get to 14 inches with one double crochet into every stitch i've done a total of 28 rows in the main part of the skirt and uh, at this point i'm going to measure and uh, the length of my skirt now is 15 inches i'd mentioned that i was going to work up to 14 and then extend up to 17 but i realized that one inch might be taken by the hips and therefore it will end at 13 so i increased up to 15 inches and then i'm going to do the edging up to 18 inches for for the next three inches it's just going to be the edging of the skirt and it's going to be a very simple edging i've already done that row so and chained three and now i'm going to turn my work to begin the 29th row i've already chained three so i'll chain one more for a total of four and that will act as the first double crochet and a chain stitch then we're going to skip the second stitch go into the third stitch with a double crochet chain one skip the next go into the next with a double crochet chain skip double crochet chain skip double crochet chain skip double crochet chain skip another double crochet and this is basically what you're doing for this row you're just doing a double crochet chain one in between skip one stitch work a double crochet chain skip double crochet chain skip double crochet chain skip double crochet into the next and you're going to keep going like this until you get to the end of the row at this point and i'm going to meet you there so that we continue working the edging so chain skip double crochet chain skip this and double crochet keep going i have one stitch remaining so i'm going to chain one and skip this stitch then slip stitch onto the third chain of the first chain three stitch and the first row of edging is done then we're going to chain four and then turn the work and then we continue working the double crochet on top of the previous double crochets chain one go on top of the previous double crochet with the double crochet chain and work on top of the double crochets so you're just going to separate a double crochet with a chain stitch in between until you get to the end of row two of the edging and i'm going to work row two row three row four and row five and then i'll come back after i'm done with the five rows i have done the five rows of the edging and the length of my skirt right now is at 17 which is what i had ori originally set out to make but i want to get to 18 
just to allow the allowance that goes to the hips and so i'm going to work one more row of this pattern where we have the single the double crochet chain one double crochet and then i'll do the final edging at the end so i've already chained four i'll need to turn <coughs> skip then double crochet chain skip double crochet and just repeat this row the same way we done it the other rows and i'll meet you at the final edging part to work the last row chain three and turn your work and now we're going to work in the chain stitches we're not going to work on top of the double crochets we're going to work on the skip stitches so go into that chain stitch and put three double crochets into that stitch two and three so i have a total of four double crochets then the next stitch the next skip stitch we're going to skip it go into the third with a single crochet then chain two chain three actually chain three then yarn over go back into that chain stitch and put three double crochets and then next we're going to skip this go into the next one with a single crochet then chain three go back into that stitch with three double crochets for a total of four skip the next one we skip in this then single crochet chain three into that same stitch work three double crochets like that then skip the next single crochet into the next one chain three go back into the stitch with three double crochets skip this into this one single crochet chain three go back there with three double crochets and this is what the effect that you're going to get and we're going to repeat this to the end of this row and at the end of the row we'll be done with the skirt so we skip this then single crochet chain three three double crochets into that chain stitch skip the next into the next one single crochet chain three then three double crochets so keep going i'll meet you at the end to show you how to finish that row so i'm finally going to skip the last one this one and then into that last stitch i'll put my three double crochets then to complete the row we're going to slip stitch here in the first double crochet sorry we slip stitch down into the first chain we had three chains so into that first chain right there that's where you slip stitch chain one and cut off the yarn now we are done with the start so cut off the yarn leave a tail that you're going to weave in and we are done with the skirt it's completely done this is the back part of the skirt look at that edging it's very beautiful as you can see then we have the front part of the skirt if you want to attach a strap onto the waist for pulling the waist together you can do that and uh, let me just show you very quickly how to do that you're going to get two strands of the yarn <coughs> i work with two just to get uh, a thicker strap make a slip knot and then make a chain of between 200 to 250 chains that will represent your strap i have my chain ready so i'm going to cut it off and pull the hook through and fasten then i'll get my, my darning needle and use it to attach the strap to the waistband so i'll just put it through and then get my skirt identify the middle part this is the back part of the skirt and therefore the strap should begin at the front part right here so i'll put the the strap through skip two on the inside skip one on the on the outside 
So just like this. I know if you, you crochet, there's a way in which you attach your strap. So just attach it the way you do. Whatever works for you. And then I'm going to pull it. Then on this side, I'll keep one, then two on the inside. So there, I have my strap attached. I'm just going to adjust it to make sure that it's sitting perfectly onto the waist. And now the skirt is done. You can tie a knot at this point. Then what I usually do is I put a knot that is very close to my stitches at the end to cut off these ends. Just put a very tight knot at that end and then cut off the remaining part of the yarn and do the same on the other side. then cut it off and there our skirt is done you're left with weaving in the ends i'm going to weave in my ends of camera so go ahead and weave your ends and the skirt is done so thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this tutorial if you've liked the tutorial please like it leave a comment share and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet if you get to recreate this kindly tag me onto your social media pages i'll post your i'll repost your posts the ones that you're going to tag me on so thank you very much and have a good day bye